explosive allegations about Howard University being revealed in a federal lawsuit that was filed just yesterday. Now, WUSA 9 broke this story when it first happened. The students demanded answers about the way the school was responding to several rape cases. The complaint claims that the school discriminated and retaliated against student rape victims. Michael Quander is here with us, and you've been peeling through this lawsuit all day. So what were you able to find out? Yeah, well, look, here's the deal. This uh, nearly 70 page uh, lawsuit, uh, it claims that Howard University violated Title IX and didn't afford the victims an equal right to education. This is a story about five women who all shared one very similar and dark experience at Howard University. They say they were sexually assaulted, raped, Two of them even left the school, scared for their safety, claiming Howard dropped the ball. It tells us that there's a, a real problem at Howard University. They're all listed as Jane Doe's in the lawsuit. The five women say they were sexually assaulted at Howard from 2014 to just last year. Two of them allegedly by the same guy. It is our duty to fight for our freedom! Now look, you may remember last year when we told you about the man who was allegedly behind two of the attacks. He was an RA in this college dorm building who is now no longer at the school and banned from campus on unrelated reasons. WUSA 9 uncovered he was also banned from UCF LA in 2014 after the school says he acted like he went there to approach female students. These cases are not about adjudicating rapes. Our clients were raped on campus, um, but what this is about is the university's uh, failure to uh, make sure that they were able to continue their education uh, despite what they had experienced. A couple of the rapes created a Twitter firestorm last year where the victims voiced frustrations with how the university was handling their cases on social media. There will be a thorough investigation. The lawsuit claiming the Dean of Student Affairs told one victim, you embarrassed your family by doing that. These are uh, young women who were uh, in college and should have been able to have a normal college experience. Uh, and they didn't have that. The suit says the victims reached out to the school for help several times with little to no response. Many of them suffering from depression, even suicidal thoughts in the aftermath of the attacks. The university wasn't uh, able to help them because they were also taking into account the, uh, the rights of the assailants. What our clients want is to make sure that Howard implements effective policies and investigations when they do learn about sexual assaults. Yeah, now they're also seeking monetary damages in this case, but at this point it's not clear how much they're going to let a uh, jury hopefully decide that. It so, so Howard on the hot seat, what's the school saying about all this? Nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing. They're not saying anything. We actually reached out to them several times today for a comment, and we still haven't heard back. Hopefully we will eventually. Michael, thank you. A lot of new developments.